while I was traveling, my wife went hiking and she fell and hurt her shoulder about two months ago. And she doesn't do a lot of somatics. It just began to, it was her left shoulder. It just began to get tighter and tighter and tighter, just as shoulders do when they get injured. Soon it's keeping her up at night. She couldn't sleep at night. Pain really intensely right here. I'm like, oh yeah, right. That's distal attachment of the costal branch of pec major. Maybe you have a tear there. Like very extremely painful at night and all day. So we went to see an orthopedic surgeon, shoulder specialist, and he like had her do this, you know, the basic like physical therapy range of motion tests. And man, she like would go that far out and it's like that, that. Basically, he's like, okay, you've got a frozen shoulder. We can't give you an MRI until you do six weeks of physical therapy. And let me tell you, that's going to be very unpleasant. That guy's going to take your arm and he's going to stretch it all the way down and he's going to push that all the way down and he's going to stretch all that stuff. Okay. You're not going to like it. It's going to be very uncomfortable. All of a sudden, my wife gets very interested. Her name's Trudy. She gets, and I love her. She's a very cool woman. I am super lucky to have her as a partner. She suddenly gets very interested in my method. And I said, oh, I can show you how to do that. Because I've had clients with frozen shoulders that my method really helped. Then I'm like, wow, it's my wife. I better even step up my game. I'm going to think of something even better. Now, I want to tell you that up till now, I've prided myself in that my method, you don't need to buy anything. But I have to say that a three-pound weight and a two-pound weight is very helpful. You can use a uh, big can of beans. You could use a water bottle, but that takes gripping. Your hand has to be too open and holding it. A weight just is easy. So I'm going to break my rule of not having to buy anything. And I'm going to say you should get a two pound weight and a three pound weight. That's what we're going to use. I showed my wife how to free her shoulder. She had a 40% reduction in pain after one day of doing this. And her range is just it's changed so much. If you have a frozen shoulder, you got to free the rest of you. Because if you don't, the root holdings are going to make that shoulder not want to relax. Free your torso. Now we're going to free the shoulder, this rotator cuff. You got to understand the rotator cuff. Think of it as really it's four coordinated muscles. The rotator cuff muscles, they can do, they can move things around. We don't want the rotator cuff muscles to do all your shoulder movement. We want there to be scapular mobility. So the shoulder blade aims the arm and then the rotator cuff muscles, they just have to do what they're good at in how they can fine tune moving your elbow and rotating this humerus, the anatomy. There's four muscles, subscapularis, infraspinatus. Those are the two strong ones that are fan-shaped. So they're good at multiple angles. We're going to look at this multiple angles. They're two powerful muscles. We're going to mostly focus on those. Then there's a small, much smaller one, supraspinatus, that's above the spine of the scapula. It's the only muscle that does the first 15 degrees of this. Then there's teres minor. Its contractions, like if you're a pitcher pulling back to throw a ball, it does that rotation pulling back. It's very small. Often that's very painful muscle, but that one's been working against all the bigger, powerful rotator cuff muscles. Uh, this is just my generalization. It's not your specific situation. The bully is silent and the victim is crying in this shoulder situation. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and adapt this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and adapt this. Now, start with a two-pound weight, okay? And that elbow's right out to the side. Here's the rule. This is Eric's rule for somatics. Don't go into any pain at all. We're just interested in how far down you can lower, okay? We're lowering down, and if it only goes that far, that's okay. As you come up to the top, it's going to be less and less effort. So you can pull up. But here, here's where it gets somatic. When you learn this, you're going to be closing your eyes. 
but we don't have to close our eyes right now. Lowering down in steps, lowering down in steps. And I'm going to go as far as my shoulder lets me go today, and I hope there's a limit and we don't run into the floor. Okay, it's going to go all the way down, but we're, I'm going to pretend that that was my limit. Okay. I'm just going to come up a little bit, enough to really focus inward. You won't be able to tell very easily what is doing the contraction, but look for sort of this swell of effort. You're pushing that weight up slowly against gravity. Okay. Slowly, little steps lowering down. Can you pause? Gently relax one step down. Relax one step down. Relax one step down. Relax one step down. Just keep going with that. And as you come into the limit, go so gently that you're not, let pain be the hard limit. We're not going into pain. If it's pain, just stop. Pull it all the way on up. Slow motion. Not, not even all the way. Just come on up. I'm going to try it with a little bit more weight. If you're really strong or something's really tight or you can't sense it, go with more weight. But we're not trying to stretch it. Here's a three pound weight. Lower down slowly, slowly, slowly. Now, here we're looking at subscapularis. It's sort of more vertical fibers of subscapularis. And we're just lowering down easy out of that. Closing on up. In a way, it's the front of the shoulder right here, the head of the humerus is pulling way down low. Muscles are way down in here on the front side of your shoulder blade. You're doing that rotation. Lower down easy. Where does your brain check out? Where does it drop away? Can you go slowly all the way? Slow, 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 slow. Now, this is just one line of the fan. All the way down. Just as far as it goes. Closing on up. Just pull up enough. Not a lot of weight. Go with the two-pound weight. Okay? Now, learn to do it with less. Tune into the muscle tension enough that a two-pound weight is enough. Perfect. We're lowering down slow. Slow. You could have your arm on the side of the bed, and you're lowering down all the way down. Okay? Now, we're not trying to get that weight down and go like that. That's cheating. We're trying to have the wrist, the back of the wrist lower down. Can we teach the brain to release it a little bit extra with that weight? Explore it. Two pounds or three pounds here, five pounds. So we're lowering down out of that and say, okay, not a big stretch. And tomorrow or whenever you practice again, it's going to recoil a little bit because we are a little bit stretching it. And we need to teach it again and again and again. You got that? But that's just the beginning. Here are the elbows straight out from the body. An entirely different line is with the elbow right here. Okay? We're closing on up. Okay? And we're lowering down off the edge of the bed. Slow. Slow. Slower. Slower. Relaxing it down, relaxing till the back of the wrist can touch on the mat. Yeah, beautiful. Closing on up. Slower. It's to relax. It's, it's uh, here, I'm going to make it so that my arm has to go to my end range. It's not about, we're not having a competition of range here. Where you might be able to only go this far, okay? Just go that far. Perfect. Enough weight so you can feel tension in your body with this. Close on up just a little bit. And then lower down easy. Little steps to the first limit. And don't force it. Just give it a little bit of a lesson. See if you can teach it. Can you relax out of that? Relax out of that. Relax out of that. Relax out of that. Relax out of that. Coming on up. Okay, great. Take your time and go super slow, and it's not stretching. Stretching won't work. When your physical therapist does that, the system says, I don't like that at all. I'm going to tighten back up. I guess they can force it, but that is very painful. It's not the way that I would do it.
I'm not a physical therapist. I teach somatics and I've had a lot of training. Every physical therapist should know how to teach somatics. You come to see me and you'd be a much better physical therapist. The problem isn't a muscle problem. The problem is how the nervous system's controlling the muscles. If you have a frozen shoulder, there's something that's called adhesive capsulitis, this sort of complex wrapping of the joint capsule that's filled with the synovial fluid, the slippery stuff that's lubricating and nourishing your cartilage. That joint capsule, when the muscles are really tight, that joint capsule will also tighten up, but it's not as nervous system controlled in its contractile quality. We have to teach it and give that some gentle stretching, but we have to have the whole rest of the system at ease. So here, I've gone from 90 degrees out to the side, and you could even come up even higher. You go, oh, how about rotate that way? Can you do that super slow? Where is it stuck? And teach exactly the line that's stuck. We did some where the elbow is out to 90 degrees. Elbow could be at 45 degrees. We could also do some elbow is over right at your side. You're right on the edge of the bed, and you're lowering out like this. Now here, I'm coming to my limit. Right about there is my limit. Your limit might be, it might only go that far. So what I would like you to do is, as the weight is above your elbow, there's not a lot of leverage. The weight isn't pushing and amplifying things. So you could turn and have it be more like this so that in the range that you've got, you can have the load of the weight helping you learn how to open that really tight muscle, the horizontal fibers of subscapularis, another part of the fan that's very easy to get stuck in very limited external rotation. If you have more range in your external rotation, well, you can change the orientation of things and we can come all the way out like that. Let's do the movement. So first I'm just talking about how are you going to orient yourself to gravity, but then tune in, find your breathing. I want you to go this slow. One, breathing. Two, breathing. Just keep going. It's at that pace. Easy, easy. Could you control it all the way and stop it? Releasing it, letting it go. Releasing it, letting it go. What is the message you send for it to relax? Close your eyes. How do you, it's paused. How do you get it started again? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Slow. And don't let the body, the, we're not trying to cheat and just get that arm down. What is it like at the end range? The osteopaths call it end feel. Is it leathery? Is it springy? If it's springy, that's muscle tension. If it's bony, that's like calcification maybe. I just maybe, I don't know your specific situation. As it comes to the limit, just rest there, come up a little bit. Lower down, easy. I need a little bit more weight. If you need more weight or less weight, we're not stretching it. Here's five pounds, that's the max. Don't go over five pounds. Okay, less and less. We're trying to have the back of the wrist not, we're not trying to just get our fingers there and say, oh, I've got it. No, that's cheating. Don't cheat. Just change the range. Coming down easy, easy, easy. Can you relax out of that? And closing on up. And can I relax it all the way down? Easy, easy, easy. That, can, how far back? How far back can it go? Okay. Now, here's another way to do it. If you're lying in bed, which line, as this comes back, it's all these rotational lines that we just did. Now let's turn it into a bigger arm movement. Come on down easy. I guess it's some of it's deltoid. Yeah, sure. Can you lower that weight all the way down? Does everything know how to move? Peck major, perfect. Closing on up there. 
find the line that that's too much weight for me. Find the line where it's just a challenge to relax it open. In this whole range right here, what's the place that it least likes to go? For me, it's right there. Okay, so I'm going to teach that with pandiculation. Controlled contraction, gentle. Lowering down, controlled. Less and less effort. 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 Look at where it drops all of a sudden. Closing on up. That. That's the effort. Fine. Maybe, maybe it's up here. Or we're, we're, I'm going to do one more in that place that I needed to go, but I can tell it's learning pretty good. Gentle, slow. Don't let it slip away from you. Slower, 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 slower. Just relaxing it back. Can everything all work together? Perfect. Here, we'll try another line. We'll go way up here. I was like, okay, that. Yeah, that line might need some work or some le learning. Like, oh, yeah, right there. Okay, here's our contraction. Lowering down easy, easy. Can everything open that needs to open? Can things lengthen? Gentle, gentle. Not into pain or discomfort. Easy, 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 easy. Perfect. We can go, okay, sure. We do a little bit triceps. Can you have that? Go, oh, right here. Perfect. Perfect. Or just be creative. I guess what I'm saying is that you need to be creative with this. I can't tell where you're stuck. Where's the line that's stuck? And use contraction and relax. Super controlled. So, smaller, smaller. What's the smallest increments? I don't want to bore you too much in this video, but what's the smallest increment? Is there anything else that could relax? Okay, don't stretch. Not a much of a stretch. Okay, so we did this external rotation, different angles, and then we put it together with a bigger movement like that. Just compare your shoulders. Let, let one go back and let the other one go back and say, okay, I've got a very big difference right now in my shoulder easy range. We also have what's limiting internal rotation. Ah, that way is different. Perfect. So you can take your weight, elbow out to the side, and that lowers down easy. Okay, great. The body is pinning the shoulder blade down onto the mat. We've got this, but we want to go super, super slow. Slow. Slow, slow, slow. Make the movement even smaller, smaller, smaller. Can you relax it? Can you relax it down? Relax it. You're, the muscles are not the problem. The interface between the nervous system and the muscles are the problem. Go slow again with me. I'm just going to talk while you go. Just ultra, ultra, ultra slow. Little steps. Get it going. Once there's some load, that's when to slow down. And... The problem is the fuzziness of the interface between the nervous system in its perception of how it's holding the muscles, what it's normalized, and the problem is a misperception. It occurs where the mind and the body meet. And how do we clarify it? We all have amnesia there. It's all messed up in all, every person. I've never met a person without sensory motor amnesia, as Thomas Hanna called it. But that's the confusion. That's how we're trapped in the habit. We're trapped in the normalization of tension, muscle tension, because that's what the nervous system has practiced so much, it can't figure out how to let you out of it. And you can go to a massage therapist and have them push on your muscles. I'm a board-certified licensed massage therapist, but I do not push on muscles anymore, uh, almost never. Is very valuable knowledge to understand the muscular system or musculoskeletal system, but 
pushing on muscles just tricks the brain into relaxing them. There's not a learning. The brain will soon go back to its old habit. Keep teaching it. So here, we can do that straight out to the side. And maybe you can do that, the elbows out 45 degrees, and we can sort of let that roll in right here. But we could also, if I, if it, just to show you on this side, you could have this lowering down like that, if that's a good way to uh, encounter your limit. We could also have arm right here, slow, 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 relaxing back to there. Yeah, beautiful. That's very doable. I was really actually very stuck in here because mostly I do somatics for my torso, which helps me stay the person that I like to be. I couldn't go this far back. And now after doing this for a week or so with my wife, just a little bit and say, okay, I can just lean back. It's like, oh yeah, that's, that's a line right there. I'm just going to teach that. Find the line that doesn't know how to open. Don't force it. Don't expect it to go further. Just be open to it going further and say, okay, can you let go of any of that? That's the line right here. And you can change some other variables. I can change the orientation of my wrist a little bit. That is one way. And that is another way. It's very different. Yeah, you could have you could have this way, see my wrist, and we could have that. Try it both ways. Great. That, that. Lowering down. I'm pulling it back up, and I'm lowering it down easy. Now, these tight muscles, they're tired muscles. People are concerned with their muscle weakness. Just consider it tiredness. Consider that, that those places are exhausted. So we're going to not tire it out. Don't go into fatigue too much. As they relax, you can feel how tired they are. It's this movement. It's internal rotation of the humerus. Here we're doing infraspinatus, this muscle below the spine of the scapula. It's down, right down there on the shoulder blade. That's really got to open up to let this happen. Okay. Lowering down easy. Where's my limit? My limit's right here. Your limit will be different. You might be able to go further. You do it off the edge of the bed. But here, we're going to close on up. We're having it be rotation. We're having the movement mostly use rotation. Could you almost time that the rotation, here's rotated one way. We're going to finish the movement having a complete rotation the other way. Restore the rotational ability of your upper arm in relationship to the shoulder blade. That's it. That. I can do this shoulder and say, okay, what, what, do, what do I have? Where is the limit? Okay, right here, it's this. Is the wrist position changing it? Okay, great. That's what we want to have for our contraction. Lowering down, not a stretch. Do not stretch. Do not go into any discomfort. Closing back up. I'm going too fast here. Slow. It's this slow. It's so slow. 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 Follow the line that doesn't know how to open. Teach that line how to open. Look at what's lengthening. What places are opening. That, 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 that. The weight just lets you relax it open. Now see what you've got. Now check out your range. Now go that way and we have this and we have, you could, you could even have the elbow up higher and do that that rotation. Perfect. Okay, I'm sort of stuck right here. Great. This is maybe some of Terry's minor and some of infraspinatus. Perfect. Elbows really high up. I'm bringing it all the way up there and saying I might need some more weight. That one's strong and stuck. Oh, that's plenty of weight. Five pounds for, for me is that'd be the absolute limit. Don't go over five pounds. If you can't do it with five pounds, uh, let's find a better way. Now, it's not just a shoulder problem. It's 
the tensions in the rest of you, do the rest of my somatics. Start at my playlist on YouTube, the Begin Here playlist. Just work from the top down and develop a practice for yourself so that you can keep your torso free. It's breathing space constriction is the root of most of these problems. Do the beginning on YouTube. What you're trying to create with these movements, it's very hard to explain by this method of just tell, talking into the camera. If you want to go further and really understand it and really be able to do somatics, contact me and you can come and spend a one and a half or two and a half or three and a half days with me. Occasionally I travel to be with clients individually. I just went to Minneapolis and that was great. Even though he was very diligent in his practice, he finally saw what we're trying to do. Uh, someone's coming from India next week and I'm going to Europe this summer to teach somatics in Belgium. I'm Eric Cooper, inspiresomatics.com. Thank you for practicing with me today. Blessings on your journey. And practice often. You gotta practice often. You gotta practice often to change the habit. Your brain is so good at making habits. That's what you're up against. You're up against your own brilliance at how you're stuck. Your brain loves holding you in exactly that way.